Got the cheat codes out today. We're gonna go look for some holes in the earth that we found using LiDAR technology. So, it might be hard to see, but there's a dot right there. <clears throat> and we got a road. Yeah, this is a trail actually in the forest. This is the edge of the lake here. And oh yeah, there's all kinds these of these dots. There. These dots are that mine that that we know about, but there's a dot up here that we don't know about. And this dot looks very sub significant. And this is pretty zoomed in because the lake's like that. So the the trail, the other end of this trail, it splits off and goes down to the lake. I think it might go down here, or it might go down here. I'm not totally sure. And then we got Shane's I think it goes phone here. as well, which has like GPS and he uses Gaia. And we just like never get lost in the woods. It always tells us exactly where we are. And we can kind of work the map and the phone together to tell us. And we, yeah, we call this the cheat code because we just find what we're looking for. The first road on the right, so up here, that road, which we may have passed it, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the that's, one, and I said right on the angle there, there's one of the, there's pits. That's, that is back there a little bit? That's one that I had memorized from back in the day. Yeah, that's that road. That's this road here. Yeah, okay. That's there. And this is the the cheat code. It's the same size. I just took the same... Beauty. These are on my top five. Oh, seriously. Look at the icicles. Nice clean gills. Yeah. Holy smokes. Look at the size of these. Really good shape, one, two. Oh, we are so lucky today. These are some of the best, choicest mushrooms you can find. Oh my, clean. <laughs> Blessed, yeah. Okay, this is a Western Grisset, which is actually an Amanita. So it's, oh, slug eating them. Comes from an egg is what Amanita means. And you can see the egg down there it's coming from. So it is a true Amanita. But this Western Grisset, these might be a little old. They look a little old, but these are actually super choice. And it could be a fine something. Certain bushwhacking now. The hole right there. The mushrooms are just everywhere. We stopped picking the chanterelles. We've already got so many of them. We're at Stromberg Lake now. There's one of the mine entrances is somewhere around here. I usually access it by boat. It's getting a bit steep. We found a bit of a campsite here. Someone's got a fire pit over there. It's just behind the tree. And nice lake access. And there's pretty cool rocks here right on the limestone contact which is where all the mines are. Beautiful white swirly marble. Like up there somewhere, there should be a hole. Okay, just got to point it out. We just got to walk in that direction and we'll find one of the first holes. What hole is this? That one. So the, it the is pretty far back. Under our way to the mine, you can tell it's the mine because of the tailings pile and where the mine is located was 20 feet inland. There's a bit of a shaft in here. Dude, it goes in around the corner. <laughs> this looks like it. it's a little sketchy. But... Let's take a look at some of these rocks here. We got quartz. Limestone, some rusty iron, some pyrite. I bet you 
If I break up one of these rusty rocks, it'll be all pyrites inside. Oh yeah, there's some. There, I actually found pyrites in the form of cubes here. Yeah, this is kind of where I've been digging away, pulling them out of this hillside. Oh, I wish I was here with my chainsaw. Okay, so you can tell you're close when there's all these. It's hard to see on this camera angle, but all these dips. Like holes in the ground. Yeah, there's dips everywhere, and it's soft when you bounce on them. Sinkholes. I think we're getting. Uh, I found little mini sinkholes. I was like super close to it. I just walked past it. Shane found it. I can hear him saying, "Whoa, dude!" <laughs> well, we found it. Ah, I was like 50 feet away. I wonder if there's a cave. In I there. don't know. That looks suspicious. Interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna get down in there. That's the hole. That's that's what's showing up. Found it. Well, we found a mine, found a few sinkholes, found a whole bunch of mushrooms. Let's get back home and cook something up. The rocks in the middle. No, it's hard to see with this. These holes in the ground, those were all cut out of there a hundred years ago, looking for intersecting veins. So it's a bit more visible. They trenched all this out. Now I'm getting tired. And it's bushy as fuck, but we are starting to find some pretty good sinkholes now. Just a little one, but we're kind of right on top of one here. We're starting to get the hang of this today. We found about 10 of these now. We found a good sinkhole, or you know you did when you get this tape here, some kind of hazard tape. I don't really, there's nothing to really worry about down here, but this is it. This is one of the craters on the map. It's pretty big, in. it's pretty big. Yeah, Molly likes it. Our prospecting has paid off. We found one of the contact mines down here. It, we're right in the sinkhole pattern and it's in the contact zone, so um, that's where they found a good place to dig. There's some rusty rocks around here. This pit goes down an unknown depth and you can see some logs down there, but there's darkness all around them, so who knows how deep that is. Let's throw a rock down there and see if it splashes or what kind of air time it gets. I got one here, but it looks like an ore stone. I don't want to throw it. Yeah, there's some quartzy bits. This is total mine. This has mine all over it. Yeah, all right, that's decent rock, but I'll chuck her down. Oh, it landed in a bad spot. Just try this next one. Okay, well, it doesn't go down too far, I don't think. Wow, I'm gonna take that one and smash it up. I think this whole hill here is... Dude, this is, this is a producer here, like, they, they fucking dug a deep hole. Ooh, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm pulling rocks out of here, and every single one of them is loaded with this rusty quartz. Beautiful stuff. Happy, happy hole in here. Really nearby the last one. Let's check down in here. Productive day. We found pretty much all the holes on the list. Got about six to eight kilometers in hiking in. And got some fresh air, which is the best, and some mushrooms. Look at this one. And we probably passed by 20 to 30 pounds of chanterelles, like, just because that wasn't our mission. Shane says more. He knows better than me. 